Welcome back to this video. Next up, we are going to take a look at get server side props. So this is how you can render via server side. So basically, we are going to be doing the same type of thing. We will be exporting an async function with the name get server side props. And Next.js will pre-render this page on each request. So the difference between the other ones where that was happening at build time, right? Now this one, get server set props, will happen for each request and will be passed to the page component as props. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what I mean by that. So let's delete these two files. We are done with those. And over here in pages, we're going to create another new folder and name this posts. And inside of here, a new file called query.js, but the query will be in braces again, because this again will be dynamic. Now, like we've been doing, let's create our page. Just like that. So like I said, to use get server set props, we need to export an async function and name it get server set props. And again, we will be needing context. So we'll pass that in. And then inside of here, what we're going to do is we are going to fetch another JSON placeholder. This one will not be the to do's, but will be the posts. So let's copy this, come back here, const res is equal to await fetch pass in that URL and just like we did last time we're going to add it on add the context on to the end so we're going to say post slash question mark q equals dollar sign context dot params dot query. So basically what we're going to do is when we change the URL, it will send another request and it will only return the, uh, in this case, the blog posts that include our request. So if we pass in the word, word the, it will only display the posts with the word the in it. So this is a good way for searching, filtering, that sort of thing. And then we'll do what we've been doing. We need to declare a variable JSON, set that equal to await res.json. Then we'll say posts are equal to JSON. And then we can return, pass in the props, set that equal to a variable results, just like that. Now when we come up here, we can pass in the results as query. So this is the results down here, and we're just saying they equal to query. So we'll, we'll use query up here in the HTML, but you can just think of that as results. So what we're going to do is come down here, and again, we're going to need to map to map all the 100 blog posts all hundred of them. So we can open up our braces like this. We'll say query dot map Q index. And then inside of here, we'll just return a div. And remember this will be each of the individual 100 posts. We'll give the, it a key of index, so post one will have a key of zero because it's index zero, post two will have one and so on. And then we'll just display the title in an h3 tag. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say q.title. And re remember this is coming from here. We have title, body ID, and user ID to use. And I'm also going to display Q.id, so we can see that they're all unique 
posts. And I'll separate that with a dash. Then I'll put a p tag in and here. We'll simply say q.body. Okay. Add a line and then format that up. So now when you go to slash posts, you should be able to see that. So let's do that. So there we go, we are passing in our query of A. And we're getting cannot read property map of undefined. Ah, and I found the problem, we have side twice. So it wasn't fetching any data. Let's replace that and replace it up here. There we go, now, perfect. When we come back, we have all of the posts mapped, all 100 of them, and that's because they all include the letter A. Now, if I want to filter this, so let's copy these two words, and we'll paste those in. Now, as you see, it filters to only the posts that have that, which are only these two. So we have that here, and this one has it here. Pretty cool. You can also separate by plus, so we can say S plus G plus J maybe, and there are no posts, S and G. Just like that. Okay, so that is how you can use get server side props and render via server side.